Alright, so as most of you guys already saw, we got the next winter update patch notes and on my previous video I also let you know which cards will be required for the next Drive Syndicate, where the Devil 16 will not only be the main dish but also the fastest car ever released to Asphalt 9, completely obliterating the Hennessy Pen of F5. That, of course, raises several concerns about balance in the game. Today I will talk about it and after seeing the video I invite you all to join the debate in the comment section. But now, let's get into it. Well, first of all, let's begin with the Devil 16 performance itself. It's not what you have seen in the videos shared through YouTube, Discord and Facebook these days. Those videos were recorded in a game beta and thus are not a true representation on, of the final performance of the car. So I can already confirm you guys that the car we will get the next week won't be what you saw on the leaked videos. This being said, of course, it doesn't mean that it will be necessarily worse. The truth is that with such an insane top speed, the car will definitely rule on its livestream regardless of the handling, nitro or acceleration because that's a fact. But maybe the performance ends up being closer to the rank it has than many of you may think at first. But at this point, why does the performance matter? Because at this point, uh, one way or another, it's obvious. The car will be completely broken, OP, let's say. So why releasing it through a drive syndicate being the most expensive event of the entire game? Well, it's a matter of balance, believe it or not. You will literally be able to count with the fingers of your hands how many people will manage to gold max the devil the legit way. This is burning the wallet. Because yeah, I can already guarantee you that some guys will abuse this drive syndicate with shades hacks and stuff and will likely get a golden devil 16 that way, not gonna lie. But same as they will get it that way, they will completely lose everything within the following months as Gameblock cracks down on them just like they did on the previous Drive Syndicate. So at the end very few people will get the devil golden and will get to keep it, which won't make it common enough to pose a threat for the majority of the player base. If Gameblock decided to release it through a special event, just like they did with the Hennessy Venom F5, it would be way more common, and that would be a huge problem since nowadays you will lose against a Venom in most of the races due to how broken its stats are. So repeating it with the Devil would completely destroy any kind of game balance we had before. However, releasing it through a drive syndicate guarantees that less players will get the chance to lock or max the car. But now let's move to what has been the most controversial topic around this drive syndicate 8, the requirements. At this drive syndicate 8, we will start with a C-class car, which is the new Mercedes EMG Vision. We will need this car at least at two stars, which should be theoretically doable with the usual drive syndicate rewards. Then we will need a three stars Diablo GT, which is where the problem appears, since this car only appeared through packs. Right after it, the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster could definitely pose a threat to progress any further unless you got it at NO stars during its Grand Prix. I'm sure that the K will appear at the Drive Syndicate, not sure if on the rewards path or in any offer, but it will definitely appear. But without any kind of doubt, the hardest cards are the two last right before the Devil 16 stage. First, the new Aston Martin DBS Sagato, we will have to lock and four star and then the wall, because this time the Hennessy Venom F5 arrived back as the biggest obstacle for those who didn't got it, at least at 4 stars on its special event, since this car will be the final boss before the Devil 16 stage, where we will need to 3 stars the main drive car in order to finally unlock it. As far as I'm aware, the Venom F5 won't come through any other way aside from Drive Syndicate, so it's a rip for free to play players. And you know, the requirements are really hard, but are kinda justified if you think which car is behind the wall. Literally, the fastest car ever released in Asphalt 9. I don't think the Absolute will be as fast as the Devil if it finally arrives to the global version, but honestly, the Drive Syndicate has never been oriented to free-to-play players, so I'm not really surprised of the requirements. It's kinda relief to see that not a lot of people will be able to get a maxed Devil and thus there will be a balance for most of the players. Otherwise, I could guarantee you the game will be even a harsher hell for newcomers. Not trying to be rude, just, you know, realistic. My advice? Focus on the Agera RS special event. The Agera is a great car and the event itself won't be extremely hard, so in the worst case scenario you will be able to get some extra blueprints to start up your Agera RS, and in the best case scenario you could get some epic import parts to gold your Agera someday, so I see it as a complete dub. 
All right, but now let's get real, guys, because thinking that the devil could be an easily obtainable car would have been a quite cynical way of thinking, in my honest opinion. So it's better to focus in something way more realistic and profitable. And this is, as I say, the Agera RS Even. As I explained, the Devil 16 itself is a huge game changer, but more likely than unfortunately, won't be golden the legit way by some people. Everyone will suffer the consequences of that until the cheaters get banned. And most of those who will gold the Devil 16 the legit way, like me, uh, maybe skills wise like me. And you all guys know that I'm not the best driver, so I won't be a really big problem in many races. So let me know your thoughts about what I have explained in the comment section. Make sure to drop your like and subscribe, and I will see you really soon, as usual, with much more Asphalt 9 featuring the new West content. Goodbye, guys.